Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We're here in the studio with Mark, and we're continuing our discussion on working faster, more efficiently, warp speed editing. Yes, yes. And in our warp speed editing tutorial, we talk about compound clips mm -hmm. and uh, a particular issue about compound clips and a way to solve them. Uh, and that works, but we've had uh, somebody uh, tell us another way to do things that I thought was so useful that I added it to do the tutorial. What, you're ref what he's referring to is we did an episode a little while back called Compound Clip Conundrum. Yes. Where we uh, talked about you know, editing a compound clip and you're trying to pull out handles and yes. media and you couldn't and how you dealt with that. But, uh, Mark has, wants to take that idea a bit further. So that idea is in the tutorial, but there's another way to do this. So okay. let's, let's take a look here. So here I have a compound clip, and uh, just for fun, we could go to clip and choose break apart clip items or shift command G to see the original three clips. I'll undo that. Um, and if I try to uh, trim this clip, well, see, I can't do it. There's no handles on it. And this is the way compound clips work. Even though the clips contained in it have at the beginning media. have more media. In fact, if I double click it to open it, here it is. I'll press Shift Z to fit it to the window. And I drag the end. We can see there certainly is more media. Mm -hmm. So you can add more media that way. And you can add more media to the other side. Uh, and then you can go back into the main timeline. And then you actually have to drag out, um, adjust this side so you have a handle. Yeah. Because the left side you have to trim for, but the right you don't. So it's, it's, you can do it, but it's sort of, you know, as you can see, a little bit like wonky it is. Uh, to do that. So here's another way to do that. And let me just put this back out um, where it was as well. Here's another way to do that. And this is best to do before you've created your compound clip. Okay. If you've already created a con compound clip, then undo it. Break it apart with Shift-Command-G. So I've, break it, I've broken it apart, and this works in order for this to work, you do need to have extra media handles on the head, on, and, tail on the, on the head and tail. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select the edit point there, Command T, and this edit point here, Command T, which puts the default transition on. Right. And I'm going to end up with handles. And by the way, I, I, I probably didn't say this. This is Alex Golner's tip. Okay. Right. So this is not mine. This is Alex Golner, who has some great tips, a great website. Alex, Alex 4D. Alex 4D. Totally check him out because I, I thought this was a great and actually a better way to do this and add handles. The, the downside is the handles will only be as long as half of the transition. Right. Okay, so if it's a one second transition, it'll be half second handles. But sometimes you just need a little bit of extra. Okay? Mm -hmm. So doing that, the first thing you do is add those transitions. And of course, if you want them longer, you could drag them longer or select them in Control D and enter, let's like 1.5, make, make that one a little bit longer, whatever you want. And it's going to add that amount of handles underneath, half, underneath that. Yeah. Half that amount. Half, half now, that the amount. trick of making a compound clip is not to select the transitions. You don't want them. So we select just the clips between the transitions, Command G for the compound clip, Option G for the compound clip. Yes, I was going to say Option that's a storyline. Yeah, yeah. I always mix it up. Option G for the compound clip. And I'll just say Return. And there it is. And now I can delete those transitions by selecting press the delete key because their only purpose was to create handle okay so now if i go inside of this compound clip we can see ah. there's handles so nice you, you huh? don't even need to go into the compound clip now you with, never with have to, uh, yeah tip. you never have to step into it at all all you do is add those transitions make the clip without including them and then delete them off and now if i hit the t key I can slip that whole compound clip. Or you can trim it on either or side. Or I can, I'll, I'll A, and I'll go, and I can trim either side to, uh, you know, just to that that's, half of that duration of that pretty, transition. pretty clever. I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, so I, I took that and I added it into the tutorial. So if you've already got the tutorial, that'll have a new section in there that gives you that extra piece. Because I thought that was a, a really useful idea from Alex on how to uh, do this. They should probably have them already anyway. <laughs> But since they don't, this is a nice way. It just takes Command T twice, group, delete them, and you're done. It uh, there's a couple extra steps, but I, yeah. I, li I like it. I think it's it's a nice variation on, on what we showed earlier. Excellent. So hopefully uh, you'll be doing that to your hundred compound clip timeline <laughs> uh, starting tomorrow. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Have lo good luck with that. Have fun. Anyway. Um, Check out his, his Warp Speed editing tutorial. It's fantastic. And uh, check us out on YouTube. We're posting videos every week. Uh, check us out on Twitter and Facebook, the usual social media gathering places. And uh, we appreciate your time watching us every week pontificate about these things. We'll see you next week on MacBreak Studio.